Hello guys, welcome to online course session on Bearlock SGL programming for beginners. And we are designing, implementing, and simulating our design with sliding size. So we are from Digitronics Nepal. Let's begin with our today's section. Actually, we are in section first. We already have done a theoretical aspect of Bearlock SGL introduction, basic design with Bearlock, and we are, we already have done simple logic gate design like AND gate design previously so actually this session this video session is important for like implementing our design simulating our design and testing our design on spartan 3 feg so guys um uh, you already have implemented our design or simulated and get previously so we are confirm about that so we are going to start from IAC design suite we are going to create a basic logic gate because in this first section we are only targeting basic logic gates we are targeting other logic components in later sections and after then uh, we complete our writing about NAND gate then we will synthesize that project and we will create a RTL schematic and we will uh, like implement that NAND gate on Spartan 3 with constraining we need to constant we need to write a constant file then after all, we are going to implement our design implement our NAND gate on spartan 3 feg we can see here spartan 3 feg actually we are going to use two slide switches actually this is l13 we are going to talk about l13 l14 this is actually switch 0 we write this switch 0 as l13 and this is switch 1 we write this switch 1 constant is l14 and we are going to use one of the layer between within like uh, eight layers are there we are going to use only one layer so taking input from two logic switches uh switch switches normal switches and we are going to show the output on layer so for constraining we need to know about uh, ug230 actually this is user guide for spartan 3 feg this session is useful and this session uh, is similar for every board every feg board uh, targeting from IIC design suite but there will be different on constraint only because each board have different constraint set like this Spartan 3 starter board have a specific constraint set while other board have different constraint set so you need to see the user guide of board which you have or you can if you have Spartan 3 or Nexus 2 or other Spartan 3 class of FPGA uh, you just have to follow respective user guide like is UG234 Spartan 3 starter kit so there are different other boards of Spartan 3 but they have different constant however so let's start with IAC design suite first of all uh, we are going to uh, write a Bearlock project for NAND gate so let's create with uh, start with a new project and we can even change our directory but uh, just uh, implementation of NAND gate so let's uh, let's do next and for targeting the uh, specific board we need to specify what board we need to target like uh, what board parameters we have so let's see here we can see here there is also evaluation development board we can even select evaluation development board but if you have different FEG board consist of Spartan 3 FEG and you can select that board from here you need to select first of all family and you can select device actually some device uh, some feg board have x 3 s 500e like nexus 2 and spartan 3 starter kit but some other spartan 3 e feg have different uh, like feg chip this is like feg chip x 3 s 500e actually this signifies that uh, our spartan 3 feg chip has 500 kilo gates so this is actually spark pe and series of 500 kilo gates series of fg so this is the f320 package name actually this is grid fixed grid package uh, grid array package like a bga package of 320 pins and this is the grid determines that how much time need, uh, need to uh, or how much time it requires to switch the transistor value like a switch the transistor from one state to another that is minus four nanosecond we can even have minus five speed grade which is better than this spartan 3 so you can even select this board parameters from spartan 3 starter board this is the same but if we select this we don't need to specify other parameters this automatically take take over the 
a uh, specific parameter for like a family devices package speed speed grade etc but uh, while we don't have the specific evaluation development board starter board then we should specify from family device package and speed so uh, you can even select the language here but uh, selecting language here uh, is not necessary and if you like to simulate the value of design with other simulation tool like model sim or question sim then you can select those also here so uh, let's do next and let's do finish this just create a project name of man get udemy and let's go to project name and let's right click on new source actually we need to implement our design on behalog module we are going to design on nand gate very basic gate this is the second basic gate we are designing so just uh, put a small name and let's do next we can even uh, place name is like uh, this is our top module so we can say underscore b this is actually behalog module of nand gate uh, we can even uh, initialize our ports nand gate ports here but uh, if we like to skip this step this is also okay like we can initialize our ports a b and z it might be output from here let's do next and this is the summary of project uh, module so we we can see here the project template has been uh, module template have been uh, generated behalog template have been generated so what we are going to do is you already know about this we are going to assign and what we need to assign is zod equals to a first of all we need to do and and after then we can do nan isn't it we already talked about operators previously in the slide so let's do nan nan is actually tilted sign so this is and of a and b and implementing not get on that result is nan isn't it so let's uh save the design we can even click save all so we need to have semicolon after this initialization assign statement so let's save it and we can even uh, synthesize this design actually we are going to see the complete flow complete design flow sdl design flow like behalog design flow in this video session so we are not designing complex circuits like other logic uh, circuits or combination circuits or sequences circuits or other reset machines this is very basic narrative implementation so you'll be more familiar and you'll be more like uh con confident about what you have did and what process you need to follow for each design so let's uh go to synthesize and view article schematic and if you click that you will get this type of schematic for uh, seeing this schematic you need to first of all click on this this will directly show how you got this also show this schematic so let's click on start with the schematic of top level block and this is the nan get top schematic we can click on zoom to full view and we can go to inside of it and we can again click on zoom to full view we can see here ending operation is drawn here a and b of uh, inputs and then after uh, the uh, like wire has been used and inverter has been used for creating a or like inverter is actually not get so creating a nand get uh, so we don't need to uh, anal analyze that schematic uh, for this design so let's go to uh, have a simulation test pens actually we need to have a simulation also we need to have a very low test feature so let's uh, say nand underscore tv actually this is uh we can even say test tf this is actually test feature uh, nand get is the top module so let's click on finish so it will also generate the basic template here we can see our initial step have been already here so let's copy this step uh, you already know about the truth table of NAND gate. First of all, we need to have 0, 0, A and B both 0, 0 and 1, and 1 and 0, and 1 and 1. Isn't it? So we have created this session and we have added this session later in later. So those students we have uh, those students we have already uh, taken this course previously will also get notification about this uh, complete design flow module complete design flow video so let's uh, save the design we can say save all and even we can go to like simulation window actually we are in implementation window for simulation we need to go to simulation after then we need to return back into the implementation this is actually radio but so you can click on simulation uh, you can click on this tf this is our test fixture source actually if you click on implementation you will see the dialog module dot b module 
and dot b means underscore b top module and this is the test fixture module and inside of it uet of top module is located actually you is uh, unit under test which actually uh, this uh, the part of simulation test uh, test fixture which includes the top module inside of it so uh, we will talk about this top module and simulation module in second section actually we have simulation and analyzing the waveform in second section uh, in detail so we are going to just uh, show you the design design uh, flow and show you the waveform so let's click on NAND get tf and if you click on here it will be a mistake so you need to click on here actually this uut doesn't have doesn't uh, actually this uut doesn't uh, get any uh, like logic input so uut is this section so this is actually just a top module the whole source have been included in the tf source so let's click on tf and let's go to isim simulator we have initialized the isim sim simulator and let's uh, click on simulate behavior model actually this step show us the waveform waveform uh, of nand gate uh, in the logic diagram or logic waveform so let's click on zoom to full view and we can see here a nand gate actually gives uh, inward output of and so we can see if both are zero and will be zero and nand will be one anyone is zero and will be zero nan will be one one again if both are one then n will be one nan will be zero so this is just an inverter of inverting uh, logic of nan gate so this is the waveform even you can include different logic gate in single uh, logic design uh, rtl design then you can simulate simulate uh, that type of design also but we have just a nan gate so uh, this is the just a supplement process we are actually targeting the implementation of implementation design and how to implement that design in spartan 3 feg so let's go to implementation and let's we can go to the um, we can go to top module let's minimize the synthesize section we need to have complete these sections we need to implement design we need to generate programming file and we need to configure target device after then we are going to get the fpg uh, we need to connect we need to have connect fpg with our uh, pc and after we are going to implement that our so let's uh, go to writing constant section actually writing constant is there are two methods for uh, uh, specifying the constant one is uh, we are going to show the for our uh, fast method one is like uh, adding the source of new source of are creating new source of implementation constant file uh, we can say just a constant name and another is uh, we can use planoid here is also planoid so we can use planoid tool for uh, using planoid uh, you need to go to here and it will show you the gui graphical user interface then you can plot your constant there also but uh, we are going to show you the rn fast method actually this planoid sometimes uh, takes some time for uh, opening the uh section so guys uh first uh, of all we need to know about the constant planning uh for that i would like to take you to user guide uz230 so here is the uz230 we can see here uh spartan 3 starter kit user uh, board user guide and we are going to previously we are talk about we are going to use two switch and one led so let's go to switch actually we can see here this is switch zero and we can see there are in the board there are two type of naming of each gpio channel programming input output uh, like we can see here normal name common name is switch zero and that name we can define in our program or in constant set is l13 so we can say switch zero and switch zero is commonly but we need to define switch zero as l13 and l14 and we can see here e9 f9 e11 f11 are different type of lets with ld ld02 ld7 naming common name so uh, we need to know about common name and that name which we can define on our program or uh, uh, even we can copy this section i it will be more easy to copy it uh, let's copy it and let's uh, uh, paste here 
so if we like to initialize some comments you can start with has so this is uh this is the comment and after then we need to have for lead uh for lead we can even go to user guide uh, if you are used to on design then you, you don't need to know about uh or you need we don't need to go every time on the user guide you just uh, you can also see the constant in your board actually this is taken from board you can see on board so every constant set uh, on that fpga has been available here so we can copy it and we can use it so this is ld7 we are going to use uh ld7 for showing our output of nand gate so let's paste this also uh, actually what we need to do is we have defined our logical ports here logical ports are input a input b and uh, sorry this must be out we don't need to have in out output z so uh, these are logical ports and what those ports we which we have seen on fpg means this f9 l13 l14 are physical ports so this section actually interconnect logical port with physical port so this will be a we have provided input a from switch 0 and this is switch 1 and we're going to uh, see the output it late so guys let's save the design let's again synthesize the design and we're going to implement the design generate the design and after then we are going to connect our FPGA Spartan 3 in our PC then we are going to implement our design from configure target device so let's wait some time and uh, synthesis process have been completed and actually uh, you need to know about the constant there are different type of constant actually I will explain about this uh, actually and it is a net list we are going to uh, uh, talk about NET as netlist actually netlist is like a connection or a, a network net uh, netlist for a a means logical port is at location l13 so logical port of a is connected with physical port of l13 physical port is that is available uh, that is in the fpg outside of fpg like switch leds lcd or different type of gpio and a b c d are in the fpg chip inside the fpg chip we are actually logical ports so a is switched to l13 b is switched to l14 z is switched to f9 this is the output port so there is output so this a and b is input so let's again click on generate programming file and this is the or this is actually oring and or and what this is io standard this actually signifies that input output is standard this tells us what type of port we are using and what is the voltage standard for that port this is actually lvttl this low voltage TTL logic actually type of IO standard on FPJ. So this uh, slide switches works on pull up mode. So while we uh, like uh, on while we need to on that slide switch, we need to click on pull up. So guys, uh, this is a uh, layered constant. So we can see here IO standard is same. Slew is called to slow. Actually, this is slow type of peripheral device and it drives 8 milliampere of current. So this is drive for current. So this part is not necessarily writing on the constant set you can write even this only then you can end up with semicolon uh, but we are uh, copied this constant from user guide so we have everything ready made so we don't need to change it but if you like to uh, insert this also this is also acceptable we already have generated the bit file so let's go to configure target device and we're going to configure the program the feg so let's click on ok on impact window and it will open the new program and let's do double click on boundary scan it will send signals and identify the chip FEG chip board uh, in the menu and let's do initialization and let's see the three chip for is actually FEG let's do S and we are going to load the bit file we have generated currently for that you should click on this and it will take us to the current directory this nan.bit file has been loaded and let's skip PROM and CPLD actually we are not programming those uh, PROM and CPLD let's do just uh, bypass bypass and let's click on apply and OK so we have loaded our bit file here and we can program this bit file another is PROM and another is CPLD we are not going to program this and we can program from their available operation or we can program right click on it and program it so program has been succeeded we can check our output on FEG so we are going to show you a demonstration thank you